Welcome back. The Northern Cape and the Sol Planke University have commemorated the late Pan-African Congress founder Robert Tsubukwe. Authorities laid wreaths at his former house and office in Kimberley today. Tsubukwe died at the Kimberley Hospital 40 years ago. Mangali's son Robert Tsubukwe was banished to Kimberley in 1969 by the apartheid government. He opened law offices at this building, which has now been vandalized. His house is occupied by a family that moved in shortly after his death. I'm honored we didn't make any changes and because that spirit still lives here. Calls have been made to preserve Sobukwe's legacy. Education was his passion and I think he would be so happy to see one or two people going through school. Yeah, no. Though he has encouraged there are, this whole township, You'll just find Subukwe, 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 Robert Mangal. In fact, my son is even calling him the original Robert Subukwe. The provincial government says plans are afoot to honor Subukwe. A, a lot needs to be done, but Robert Subukwe has got, they've got a trust which is Robert Subukwe Trust. It's, an, it's a trust that we are also in negotiations with how can we do that. Because we don't want just to renovate this and, and not be able to assist the community thereof. But of course we will be working in partnership with the, with the Robert Sobukwe Trust so that we see how, how can we be able to assist the young people, particularly that would want to be lawyers uh, 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 in, in the future. The plans include naming the Kimberley Hospital after him. Bule Mudupe, SABC News, Kimberley.